If you're a real American, you should you should like buy American. If you're an American entrepreneur, you should hire American. I am here because I'm a member of the club and it's great to be around like-minded people. And it's almost like an emergency situation. They're just summoning everyone. We decided to go to Times Square. I Hi guys, uh, thank you for tuning in for the second part of this video for this is about the gala, the Forbidden Gala that I went to in New York City in December. For the first part, check out in my channel. For the second part, that has the interviews and some of the story behind me being there and what I was doing after the gala. So check out my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and more videos on policy analysis and politics. Hey, women? Yeah. No way. I know a lot of women who are very uh, passionate Republicans. As you can see, even just in this administration, you know, Donald Trump has empowered Amy Coney Barrett. She's a woman. She's the judge on the Supreme Court. He's empowered Kayleigh McEnany. Um, she's awesome. A lot of people admire her. His daughter, Ivanka Trump, she's a woman and she's in charge of uh, her own company and plenty of things. So no, I think that Republicans are just about hard work and values and a little bit about tradition. So we just said a Pledge of Allegiance. I teach you know, guys. So I'm here with my friend James. So James, USA. USA? So, USA. USA. Yeah, USA. So what does it mean to be really USA? You care about your country. But uh, in what way? Like, how is it different from anybody else? I look at it as competition. You know, like, people are, that are not all about you say different from what you believe in. They're more globalists. So you're saying, okay, being more globalist. So what does that mean to you? Does it mean taking care of other countries or sending resources to other countries or interfering with other countries' affairs? All three. If you're a real American, you should, you should like, buy American. If you're an American entrepreneur, you should hire American. And if you're uh, anything you manufacture in America should be with American raw materials and American labor. So a lot of people, um, like a lot of economists, would tell you that globalism uh, and you know having international people is good for you. And also this country was built on immigration. So what would you say to that? Well, if you're an immigrant and you come to America, you should um, buy American and build American. All right. So I actually live in Buffalo right now, and I'm making America great by rebuilding the Buffalo. Do you think that's American? Wait, making America great again by rebuilding Buffalo, New York? Yeah. So uh, what I'm doing is I am revamping the properties, the old properties, and I'm making them better. And then I rent them out to young people. So what do you think about that? Is that a good, Ameri good American enough for you? Sure, you're rebuilding America. So what would be your final words to my audience that generally is libertarian? What would you say to libertarians? Uh, as long as it's America first, meaning, you know, American workers first, American families, you know, um, e uh, economic nationalism. So basically, if, you, you know, if, you, if you're an entrepreneur, you should hire American and use American raw materials. Well, thank you so much. And uh, it was really good hearing from you. I love your perspective. And um, enjoy the event. High five to that. What are you doing here? I am here because I'm a member of the club and it's great to be around like-minded people. What is like-minded? Huh? What is like-minded people? Like-minded people are people who, as they say in America, are on the same page and think alike, but also have their own individual common sense as well. Well, I love your outfit. Is it something that's in vogue for men, checkerboard? This. Oh, I don't season. know. I don't know what's in vogue. I just dress what I want to dress. I love it. That's the best. So instead of Sarah Palin, there were James O'Keefe and Matt Gates as the speakers. I haven't heard about them too much, but they seem to be prominent within the conservative movement. Guys, they just informed us that Sheriff is here, so we have to leave. They're actually asking people to leave, um, and that's what we're going to do. So at this particular point, I wasn't sure what's going on because um, it did feel like maybe they had some press and the sheriff outside. But when I actually walked outside, I didn't see anyone. 
but again this guy was all over in the news it i did sound a, i did hear a rumor that it might have been that um, all the press went to the other location because originally this gala was announced at a location in new york city but um i did hear that all the press arrived there and they just um realized that it was somewhere else um but yeah it was kind of crazy and you will see a little bit of how it unraveled further in the video it's pretty depressing and pretty crazy how they just summoned everybody. It seems like one of a sudden they just started kicking everybody out because the sheriff is here and they asked us to leave. And there's press outside. So we are really asked to leave right now. So the president of the club just asked us to leave. And it's almost like an emergency situation. They're just summoning everyone. So we're back at the hotel. The ball, the ball is over. And Nadia, right here, fixing her shoes, she actually took off the dress because now she knows what it feels like to be a real star. Her, her feet are in pain and yeah, she's like back to a pumpkin. It was very difficult, but in my defense, this is my first star event. And I'm going to get this better, is your I first promise. Oscars. It is my first Oscars, and I think I did really well. I came to the event first, and I was like, oh my god, what am I doing here? What is a poor little girl from Brooklyn doing at this amazing event? And then I called a friend of mine, and I said, tell me what to do. I don't remember what he said to me, but it was very nice to have support. But anyway, anyway, so tell us what was the highlight of the event because uh, it was your first gala, your first ball, so your real Cinderella, and it was with the Republicans. So tell us about that. Well, it felt nice to be among people with whom I can honestly express my opinion, and I found that people were fun and jolly. So what were you saying that Republicans ended up being more tolerant, in your opinion, than the liberals? I am totally saying that. Um, it, it goes contrary to the definition of liberal and conservative, but that's exactly what I'm saying because that's how it felt. All right. So we decided to go to Times Square. I actually see like, look at how my makeup pops out in Times Square much better than it was at the gala. Yeah. You see how beautiful that is? Because it's like daylight here. So we decided to shoot a couple more videos over here. So I'm still in my ball gown right there and we decided to go down Times Square because it's a thing to do um, after an event in New York City if you are a not New Yorker and that's what you do when we're not New Yorkers. I'm not a New Yorker, not a New York City person anymore so that's what I do. You can see that the city is pretty deserted but yeah, nonetheless, it's, it's fun. So, as a New Yorker, how do you feel about the city, how it looks right now? It's pretty deserted. It's much less crowded, and I like that, kind of, from one, from, uh, from one perspective. It means the streets belong to me now more than ever. Uh, from the point of view of a New York, I'm constantly having cognitive dissonance because this is very unusual. Um, this place should be filled up with people, brimming with people. And it's not right now, so I almost feel like I'm not in New York City. I don't know where I am, maybe in Buffalo, maybe somewhere else, but definitely not in New York City. So here's me on Times Square, and I was very happy uh, at the time, but when I was editing this video, I saw that this is pretty sad. There isn't that many people on the streets. There is other people like me who just take pictures or videos, but normally there would be movies shot on this street during the day and during the night and right now there's very few people and there's just trash all over but you know for the rest of my trip I did typical New York um, Christmas and New Year's 
things. I went to Rockefeller Center and sex at the Fifth Avenue um, and did all, you know, the window shopping, staring at the, looking at the lights and staring at the windows. Um, I love doing that. I've only done it a couple of times in life, but this was my second chance. Uh, me and my friend Nadia also went to the Met and we did enjoy the city that way at least. Um, it was great that Met was open and we also had some great food, although the New York City food experience is kind of weird right now. Thank you guys for sticking with this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel because it really helps. And yeah, um, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Do you think this was unreasonable to do this gala? Do you think people were just exercising their rights or whatever is that you think? I would really love to hear from each and one of you. And the comments down below do generate very interesting discussions. So let's talk.